I know I normally use this channel to show you the kind of simple home baking that you grew up with, but there's a slight change of plans today. I have Lady Gaga cookies. There is a little bit of prep work that you want to do ahead of making this. The first thing you're going to do is set out your cream cheese to thaw completely to room temperature. You want it to be nice and soft for whipping. And you also want to take your Oreos and separate the cream filling from the cookies and pop the filling into the freezer. I'll show you why in a little bit. The first thing I'm going to do is create my Oreo crust. I'm going to take my Oreo cookies and like I already mentioned, I removed the cream from those. I'm going to put them in a food processor and blend that until they are finely ground. And then I'm going to quickly mix in some melted butter and a little pinch of salt. When all of your ingredients for the crust are mixed, it should look like wet sand and be kind of pliable. And then I have my little springform pan here. Um, this recipe is for a smaller size cheesecake because it is just me and my husband that are gonna be eating this, but if you would like to make a larger cheesecake, you could just double all of the measurements here. And then you wanna pack this nice and firm on the bottom of your springform pan and slightly up the sides. I find the easiest way to do this is just with the bottom of a flat cup. I like a really thick crust on my cheesecake, so you can adjust this based on your preferences. And just like that, our springform pan is lined. We're gonna pop this in the freezer for 10 or 20 minutes while we prepare the rest of our ingredients. So I mentioned earlier that when I took the filling out of my cookies, I put them in the freezer. And that's because to get a little bit of a funfetti effect in my cheesecake, I'm going to very quickly before they soften, pulse the green cream filling in my food processor. And we've now got the green rubble that I'm going to pop back in the freezer because I don't want this to soften and we're gonna fold this into our cheesecake filling. The filling is the last piece of this and we're gonna mix this in two separate bowls. In the first bowl, we're gonna mix our package of softened cream cheese with a little bit of vanilla extract, some lemon, and some powdered sugar and we're gonna beat that until it's really smooth and then we're just gonna put in some Greek yogurt. A lot of cheesecakes would use sour cream to get that sort of tang, but considering how many calories this thing already contains, I opted for the healthier option. In a separate bowl, we're gonna take our chilled heavy whipping cream and we're going to whip that until we get nice stiff peaks. And then we have our cream cheese mixture and our whipped cream. I'm going to gently fold my whipped cream into the cream cheese. You want to be careful not to let all of the air out of this. This is voiceover Colin looking back in 2020 hindsight, and I have to admit, this is the exact moment where I started to have serious doubts about how this cake would turn out. I've never been gifted in the visual arts, and it can be impossible for me to visualize things clearly in my head. So what I think sounds great in theory doesn't always translate well to actual decorations. When I saw the dark green flecks in that pale green cream, it was starting to look more like a kitschy St. Patrick's Day dessert rather than a Gaga cheesecake. Frozen crust is ready to go. I'm gonna take the filling here, plunk that in, spread it out gently. I see you licking your lips, you're not getting any of this. Just kidding, you can have some here. I even went so far as to roll out some sculpting clay, cut it the exact shape of my pan, and carved the symbol from the front of the Chromatica album. I then took my baked sculpture and created a cast of it using a fast curing silicone solution called Smooth On. I learned this process years ago after assisting a friend who works with special effects prosthetics but I'd never thought of using this technique to make custom candy and fondant molds until I saw Christine McConnell make gorgeous chocolate molds on her From the Mind of Christine McConnell series. To make matters worse, the red melting chocolate that I purchased from my local crafting store 
turned a really dull red after melting. So instead of getting the bright red cake topper I was hoping for, it looked more like I had piped the design on top with ketchup or tomato paste. I'm going to pop this, I don't know whether to call it a work of art or an abomination, into the fridge for at least eight hours, probably overnight. As it chills, it's going to set and become much more sliceable. Right now, this is kind of like a, a pretty fluffy whipped cream, so you wouldn't want to eat this right now. It'd be a little bit of a mess. So into the fridge this goes, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's ready to eat. Freak out, freak out, freak out, freak out, look at me. <laughs> oh my god, this cheesecake! <laughs> My cheesecake was in the fridge for about six hours and it kind of looks like a meatloaf. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like a smoked salmon and dill bagel in a cheesecake form. This was definitely one of those that just turned out better in my head. I think if I lose, if I lose the chromatica chocolate on top, it'll look less like a meatloaf covered in ketchup. This has not been chilling for as long as it should but I'm impatient and I would like to eat it now. So it's kind of mushy. If you close your eyes and pretend that it doesn't look like French onion dip, <laughs> I'm sure this will taste delicious. I mean, I do have to admit, I love this mini springform pan. And I feel like if I had just made this a regular cheesecake, this would have looked really cute, but I'm just, I'm gonna eat it and I'm not gonna really look at it that closely. It actually, it, this tastes fabulous. I am, I am sorry, Lady Gaga. I am sorry, viewers. I, I've really let you down with this one. I will make sure that the written instructions are for a plain cheesecake and not whatever this is, because taste-wise, this is fantastic. <laughs> so thank you for joining me in this experimental episode of Let's Make. I will not be making this again the same way I have done this today but I will be making many of these in plain vanilla cheesecake form in the future. So if you do make this, please let me know how it turns out and enjoy. I will see you again soon. Bye.